Welcome back. We are going to be working with segment addition, but the segments are going to be broken into three pieces. So this is slightly different, but it uses the exact same concepts as segment addition with two pieces. So this first one here, what we recognize here, we have three pieces. We have segment DE, and the segments added together, DE plus EF plus FG, they have to equal the entire segment, which is DG. Once we recognize that, we can substitute in the things that we don't know, or the things that we do know. So what we do know is that EF is 15. FG is 12. And we also know that DG is 31. So this is the thing we don't know. DE is what we don't know. So we are just going to use algebra, create a variable, which we're using x in this case, and we can solve for x. So x plus 15 plus 12 is 27. That equals 31. 31 minus 27 is 4. So DE has a measure of 4. In number 2, we have three parts and interestingly the way they give us WU. So here what we're looking at is we know we have, let me change this, it's in the wrong color. We know this. So we can set this as X. So because we know WU, WV plus VU will equal WU. So 5 plus X equals 18. So here we can find X, we subtract 5 from both sides, X equals 13. So this is 13. Once we identify that, now we can figure out, it asks us to find VT. So VT would be 13 plus 15 equals VT. So 13 plus 15 is 28. That is the measure of VT. Now number three, we're trying to find QT, which is the entire length of that whole segment. But the way they give us the information, we have to, we have to figure it out here. So what we know is QS is 20. So we can figure this out. 20, we know that RS is 8. Oops. So 20 minus 8 will give us 12. So QR is 12. The other way we, can, we have to work on the other end here, so I'm going to change my color here. Working this way, we know that RT is 23. So 23 minus 8, because we can take that 8 out, 23 minus 8 is 15. So this piece here is 15. What is the measure of QT? We're going to add these all up. 12 plus 8 plus 15. And that gives us 35. So QT is 35. We're going to deal with similar situations here. So let's work with number 4 here. So if we're looking at this, what we notice here is that we are given, let me get my highlighter, we know HJ. HJ is 21. What we don't know perhaps it's easier if we go the other direction, what we don't know is this little piece here, JK. But we do know the whole piece. The whole piece is 29. So 29 minus this HJ part, 21, will then tell us what JK is. So that is going to give us a measure of 8. So this is 8. Now, if JK is 8, then we can figure out what IJ is because 
ij plus jk equals ik. So if we're using segment addition here, we can use ij plus jk, which is 8, and ik, they tell us, is 13. So ij, 13 minus 8, is 5. So ij will give us 5. Now you could do this a different way as well, because you could basically just do 13 minus 8, which is 5, to get what ij is as well. Now we start to get a little bit more interesting with the algebra. And number 5 is pretty straightforward. We have the three parts. fg plus gh plus hi equals fi. So x plus 19 plus 31 plus x plus 2x plus 34 equals 24. <clears throat> So we have to combine like terms. x plus x plus 2x is 4x, and then 19 plus 31 plus 34 gives us 84. And that will equal 24. We have to subtract 84 from both sides. So 84, I'm sorry, 24 minus 84 will give us negative 60. So 4x equals negative 60. Divide both sides by 4, x equals negative 15. Now we have to find fg. So fg is x plus 19. So fg is negative 15 plus 19, which makes fg equal to 4. Now with number 6, it gets even more interesting. So with number 6, we know this right here, this red part here. So we can figure out, let me highlight that a little bit more so we don't miss any of those parts. We, can, we have to figure out PQ. And we can actually easily do that because if PR is 5 plus 7x, and we know what QR is, all we have to do is subtract qr, which is 3x plus 5, and that will equal pq. So I'm going to write this again. Um, pr minus qr equals pq. So we have to distribute this negative in here. So 5 plus 7x minus 3x minus 5 equals pq. So this will give us 4x equals pq. So pq is 4x. So now we can set this up to figure out what all these parts are. So now what we're going to do is we are going to use pq and we also know what QS is. <clears throat> so PQ plus QS will equal PS. So 4X plus 22 equals 12X minus 2. So we can add, subtract our 4Xs from both sides. 22 equals 8X minus 2. We can add 2 to both sides. 24 equals 8x, which makes x equal to 3. So I'm just going to write this up here again. x equals 3. Now, with x equals 3, we can figure out what each of these parts are. So, if x is 3, then up here, this is going to be 12. PQ is 12. QR 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14. So if we know this is 14 here, and we know that RS is part of that, we can find PR by adding those two things together. 12 plus, 12 plus 14 is 26. Now you could also find this 
by plugging it in here. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 plus 5 is 26. In number 7, we have a whole bunch of parts, but we also have the, the whole. So what we notice here is that we have the 6. But the other interesting thing is that this overlaps in both of them. So one thing we do know, however, is FG plus GH plus HI will equal FI. Now again, here's where we have to be careful. We know that this 6 is essentially a part of both of these. So we have to take it out of one of them to make this work. So we are going to subtract 6 from FH, okay, to give us what FG is. So FG is going, is, I'm sorry, FH is 21 plus X. But we don't want FH. This is, this is FH here. We want FG. And to figure out what FG is, we have to take away that 6. So we're going to subtract 6 from there. So this is FG. GH, we know, is 6. HI, we have to take that 6 away from there as well. So we have X plus 18, but we have to subtract the 6. And that's going to equal our whole, which is FI, which is X plus 28. So when we combine these like terms, 21 plus x minus 6, 21 minus 6 is 15, so we have 15 plus x, we add the 6, and then 18 minus 6 is 12, so we'd have x plus 12, and that's going to equal x plus 28. We can combine like terms, we'll have 2x and 18 plus 15 is 33, and that equals x plus 28. We can subtract x from both sides. x plus 33 equals 28. And x will equal negative 5. So with that negative 5, we're trying to find the measure of gi. gi would be negative 5 plus 18, which is 13. So gi has a measure of 13. For number 8, we have to break this into parts. So we know what CD is, but we don't know what DE is. We're going to have to find DF, which we have an expression for that. But we have to pull some parts out. So if we know what CE is, CD plus DE equals CE. So we can plug in the things that we do know. CD is 3x plus 50 plus DE, and we know what CE is, which is X plus 36. So we are going to end up creating a, an expression to represent DE. So we can subtract the 3X from both sides. So 50 plus DE equals negative 2X plus 36. Now we can subtract 50 from both sides. DE equals negative 2x minus 14. So DE is negative 2x minus 14. Now that we found what DE is, we're trying to find DF. DF equals DE plus EF. So DF we know is 26 plus x. That is going to be equal to DE, which is negative 2x minus 14 plus 1. So 26 plus x equals negative 2x minus 13. We can get our x's to one side. So 26 plus 3x equals negative 13. And then we can subtract the 26 from both sides. So 3x equals negative 39 which makes x equal to negative 13. 
Now we can figure out what df is simply by plugging that in. So df is 26 plus x. We're plugging negative 13 in, 26 minus 13, which makes df equal to 13. So in number 9, we have a similar situation. Now if you notice, that is what we know. That's kind of, that's something we can work from. Sometimes it's easier to go left from left to right. So what we know is JK plus KL will equal JL. Now we can plug in the parts that we know. So JK is 17. Now we don't know what KL is. So we are going to have KL here. But that equals 38 plus X because JL is 38 plus X. Now we can figure out what KL is. We subtract 17 from both sides. KL equals 21 plus X. So KL is 21 plus X. Now, once we have that, we know KL plus LM equals KM. And we can plug all that in. So 21 plus X plus 2X plus 43 equals x plus 28. And when we work this out here, this is going to be 3x plus 64 equals x plus 28. Subtract an x, 2x plus 64 equals 28. 28 minus 64 is negative 36, so 2x equals negative 36 which makes x equal to negative 18. So now, x equals negative 18, but they ask us to find km. So km would be negative 18 plus 28, and km would equal 10. Similar situation with number 10. We can figure out going left to right that QR plus RS equals QS. So 3X plus 63 plus RS equals 9. So we can figure out what RS is by subtracting 63. So 9 minus 63 is negative 54. 3X equals, I'm sorry, 3x plus rs equals negative 54. We subtract 3x. rs equals negative 3x minus 54. Now we have to move to the other direction. So rs plus st will equal rt. So negative 3x minus 54 plus 32 plus x equals x plus 38. So combining like terms, negative 2x, negative 54 plus 32 is negative 22. That equals x plus 38. I'm going to make my x is positive here, so I'm going to add the 2x. Negative 22 equals 3x plus 38. And negative 22 minus 38 is six, negative 60. So negative 60 equals 3x, which makes x equal to negative 20. Now to find RT, RT equals x plus 38. Pull that down. x plus 38. We found x is negative 20. RT would be negative 20 plus 38. So RT equals 18. And that's how we do it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's take a look. Hope you guys have a good day.